Dundee manager Barry Smith says he'll make the most of trialists while the club is in administration after Neil McCann scored a stoppage time winner on Saturday. When Neil McCann came out of retirement to go on trial at Dundee, under the rules, Dundee have a transfer embargo. After going into administration, and Palace can only play three games. When McCann came on with around half an hour left in the match, and the last time he played for Dundee was 15 years ago, when McCann scored the winning goal, which was in the 93rd minute. And Smith says he plans to bring in more trialists before the end of the season. There we have it. That's the winning goal to bring the three points, and we can speak to. A the goal scorer, the man himself now, uh, good afternoon to you, Neil. Tell us, what was it like to come back and, in fact, score that winner? That was pretty special to uh, just get the boots back on again. And uh, as I said, when Barry called us up just to see if I would help them out and they're in a difficult position, then, uh, you know, there's no hesitation. Um, going back to my old club, I always wanted to possibly get them back on at some stage and help someone out. And there wasn't anybody better, really, than and help my first club out Dundee and said it wasn't about myself, it was about, you know, trying to continue what a brilliant run that Dundee are on, how they're managing to do it with such a small squad and in such difficult circumstances, just there can't be enough said about that. So for myself to come on and, and, and play a part in them getting another three points was was a magic feeling. Yeah, like you said, they're on a great run at the moment. Not bad considering they're in fact just fourth from the bottom now in the Scottish Division one. So how do you think it is looking for the future of the side? Well, certainly things are looking a lot brighter than what they were um, I know, a month or so ago when, you know, when they, they get deducted the 25 points. You know, if it wasn't for that deduction, they could have been at the, the other end of the table and, and sitting pretty at the top of the league. But, you know, but what, what they've done under that sort of, you know, circumstances and such bad luck, uh, as I said, is, is incredible. You know, they've got such a small squad. When I actually done a wee bit of homework before I went up to train with Barry uh, last week. And, I was quite surprised looking on the, the old internet and the, and the pages at how small the squad actually was. So, you know, there was no hesitation to say, really, in going in and, and trying to lend a hand. Um, fitness wasn't a problem in terms of I've been keeping myself reasonably fit, but match sharpness is definitely going to be a problem. I haven't been over a, a year and a half since I played the last time competitive. So, to go on and uh, get half an hour, fans were great. The players were absolutely magic, you know. The, it made me feel very welcome, so I, I've enjoyed every minute and just been involved in it again. Mm, you said fitness is, of course, an important thing. You ran the New York Marathon as well, or training to do yeah. that as, as well. How are you feeling now? You've had a couple of days to, to rest and really take it in? Yeah, I've been feeling good. Um, it's, it's, it's a match sharpness in the, in the, you know, the, the fast footwork that you, that you don't get to replicate. It's okay staying fit. Um, and running a, run a marathon in uh, New York in November there, my mate Craig Walker. And it was a wonderful experience, but um, you know, I always thought about getting back to playing football. I love my job with Sky, it's absolutely magic, but you know, there was always that wee hankering inside that I could possibly pull them on once more. And I said, when the opportunity came up, I didn't realise that I would uh, have such an impact. And as I said, wheeling away and getting the boys chasing me and seeing the Dundee fans brought back some great memories. Yeah. But I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm feeling that great the next morning. <laughs> How are you feeling maybe building up to, to uh, the next game? I think a Dundee have got a Sterling on a Saturday yeah. away. Following that, it's Race Rovers again, an away game as a trialist, of course. You've only got two more yeah. games left to play. Can you see yourself featuring in those? And, and if not, maybe which games are you hoping to be playing in? Well, it all comes down to my Sky schedule. Um, you know, the games that we've got coming up live on Sky and the, the SPL and uh, the Cup. But Barry said he would like to use us again. I have got two games left. Uh, I'll have a discussion with him uh, tomorrow morning. I'm going to do a bit of training and, and see how I'm feeling and see how he's feeling about using me again. Um, if it's going to be against Stirling on Saturday, that's a huge game. Obviously, that, that's the side that was down there um, at the bottom of the league. And, you know, it's a huge game for Dundee going to face Stirling. So if he wants to use us in that and he feels that I'm, I'm ready and I can do a job for him, then uh, I will step up. And then after that, I'll have one more uh, again. I need to discuss with Sky and, and discuss with Sparry when that's going to be. But as I said, just to play a part and help Dundee out, um, I'm very, very proud to do so. Okay, brilliant. Thank you uh, for uh, speaking to us. Congratulations at the weekend. I hope to see you in Thank action you again very soon. We'll have a word with the men above as well. Thank you. Uh, next, with